We are finally into the new season, which is one of our favorites here in the UK. And today I have a small selection from the fall winter collection at cost for 2023. Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope that you're all having a great day so far and welcome to my first official autumn video of 2023. And of course, I had to kickstart my videos for this particular season with Cause. They are my favorite store at the moment. I absolutely love every single piece that they're putting out and I always have to control myself not to revamp my entire wardrobe with their new in pieces because they always, always get me. The color palette that you see here on my rail is black, gray, and navy, but there are other colors available in some of these pieces. So if you are interested in any of them, of course, I will link them below. I personally gravitate towards these tones at this time of year so much more than color. And in general, I don't wear a lot of color. So these are kind of like my safe haven. But if you do like color, make sure to check the link below because there is a possibility that you will find these in different tones. So we're starting with a basic t-shirt that is not so basic as I mentioned cause does elevated pieces so well. So this is a longer heavyweight t-shirt and when I say heavyweight it is quite heavy, it's quite thick. It does have this beautiful silhouette, so it kind of like cinches in at the waist. It does have a zip on the side. Somewhat longer sleeves for a t-shirt. These are quite long and lovely. I really love this. And the beautiful detail about this t-shirt is the shoulders because it does have a little bit more structure. And because it is a heavier material, it does hold its shape exactly as it is. Now from the cutaways, as you can see, this is a somewhat dressier t-shirt and I decided to style it with a very long black skirt, which is also part of this video. I will be mentioning it in a little bit. And I think the two pieces together work so well. I decided to go for an all black outfit, but of course this is for inspiration purposes and you can always change a few things. I'm wearing flat sandals because I'm not ready to put away my open sandals yet. And here is an example of something that I would style with this particular look. It would be very refined, comfortable as well because I would go for a sling back that doesn't have a really high heel. I prefer something that is more of a short heel or kitten heel. I think it's a little bit more appropriate for every day. But I think that the overall outfit just came together so well. I find that this is more a 90s minimalism type of style, very elegant and something that is quite timeless and it will never go out of style. So really love this. And just for reference, I got this in size medium. So for my next item, I have the skirt that I styled the t-shirt with. This one is called the column skirt. I got it in size 40, if I'm not mistaken, or size medium, either or, because those are my sizes in cause at all times. This one is a maxi skirt. So I'm five foot seven and on me, it fits me full length. If you are petite, this is going to drown you or you will have to take it to a seamstress. On the back, it has two hooks and then a zipper and a slit as well. Now, when I saw this skirt online, it totally gave me 90s vibe. And that is the vibe that I'm getting from Cause with their collection this year. I feel like this is 90s minimalism to a T, especially because of this look right here, which inspired me to style my own outfit kind of similar. And I think slingbacks would look amazing on this. This is a skirt that will totally elevate your style. I love the way that I styled it. It would be 100% a way that I would style it to go to work, to go to dinner. Um, I could style this skirt with different pieces, but I think with the shirt, with a masculine oversized shirt, it really elevates the look. I find it quite elegant, quite minimalist, and very 
chic as well quite feminine but in a more modest masculine way if you know what i mean and you will be seeing quite a few at cause i saw at least the two in store which are made of a hundred percent wool um, and I think they would be great additions for the fall winter or more winter time But this one the fabric is exactly the same as the t-shirt overall love it And I think it's a great piece for their new collection I know I'm showing you guys a lot of black, but this will be the last the black piece from this video so now I have a t-shirt dress which is very similar to the t-shirt at the start of the video. But for those of you who prefer a dress, I really wanted to feature this because I think that this dress is lovely and it's a total new elevated way of wearing a t-shirt dress. Again, because of the shoulders, so it has more of a structure type of shoulder, so it looks a little bit more dressy, more elevated. It does cinch in slightly at the waist, giving you the illusion of a smaller waist. It is a longer, I would say midi longer dress kind of and at the back is super simple with a slit as well now fabric wise it's exactly the same as the skirt and the t-shirt so um, I'm going to say the same thing it's a great fabric to wear for this transitional period I style it with Mary Jane's which are also from cause and I'll link them below if still available online it's a dress that can be worn with heels as well so quite versatile I think it's a great item and I really love how it looks on I don't think it comes in different tones unfortunately I think it's only in black but I think it's a lovely lovely item that they have as part of their collection for 2023 Okay, so my next item, which is not black, it's a pair of wool trousers in this gorgeous gray tone. Now, Cause makes the most beautiful wool trousers. I love the way they style and design their trousers. They're not supposed to be tight. They give you kind of like that relaxed masculine feeling, and I really, really love these ones right here. They are supposed to be wide leg, so they give a little bit kind of like that effortlessly chic vibe. They're high waist, they have pleats at the front as you can see and they're very, very long. As I mentioned, I am five foot seven and these are very long on me. Um, I would have to either wear heels or get them tailored to my height, but at the moment I'm not thinking of that. But I think the trousers are supposed to look exactly how you are seeing them on the cutaway. And then if your waist is a little bit smaller, just bring them in slightly so that's why you have the adjustment so if you don't have any trousers from cause the majority of them at least the more expensive ones they're all kind of expensive but the more premium ones like this one because they are 115 pounds and not 89 or 99 like they were last year they do have that little detail which i really appreciate and love so really love these i think i would get a lot of wear out of these in my wardrobe because I love wearing trousers, it's my safe haven. And I do have quite a few pieces um, in gray in the same tone or similar, and I think they would look amazing together. Okay guys, so now we're moving on to outerwear. And the first piece that I have here is a knitted blazer. Now this is made of wool and cotton, so it's a wool blend and it is quite heavyweight. Quite beautiful, it does really look like a blazer and it comes in this gorgeous navy tone. Navy was my favorite tone last year. This year I still love it, but I'm not as obsessed. But I think this would be a really nice piece to add to your wardrobe for a more casual day. Now the cutaways, as you can see, I styled it with my gray trousers. And I really like it. It feels very relaxed, very casual and masculine at the same time. As I mentioned, I do like my masculine pieces, but I find that this blazer for me, it's more of a really, really casual piece or loungewear piece. Although it's not a cardigan, it's definitely a blazer. It is quite thick. It does feel quite heavyweight. It wouldn't be something that I would reach for as much as my other blazers. I'm so used to the classic looking blazer. Um, and as far as I would go, this would be for a very, very casual day and not to go to work or anything like that. But I still think it's a beautiful piece. Out of curiosity, I really wanted to order it and show you guys. Overall, it's okay, but it's not something that I would go run and buy. 
So my next outerwear piece has to be one of my favorites from this video. I actually bought it in store just a few days ago. The moment I saw it, I said, I have to take it. And it's this gorgeous wool jacket. I've been wanting something along these lines for such a long time. I know our kid has had some releases, I think the past couple of years or just last year, but I'm really happy that Cos has released exactly what I wanted for my everyday cropped wool coat. Now this one does come in two different tones. It also comes in navy and as you can see I'm not as obsessed. I went straight for the gray and I think I did a great choice because this will look amazing with a tonal look. It will look good with brown tones or tan tones at this time of year and I really really love it. I love the fact that it's cropped as I mentioned. It looks almost like a bomber jacket. It has really minimal pockets on the side. The beautiful buttons that almost match the jacket and the collar as well. Super simple, very elevated but simple at the same time and it's something that it's not going to go out of style. Unless I get bored of it, it will never go out of style and I think this will be a piece that is quite functional in my wardrobe, whether if I style it for a tonal look or I'm going to wear it with black or even navy, I think this gray is beautiful and it's going to be a piece that I know it's going to be super versatile for my fall capsule wardrobe. Before we move along to accessories, a few months ago I did mention that I was on the hunt for the perfect brown sunglasses that do not exist. <laughs> but I searched high and low and I couldn't find a style that I wanted to buy and I didn't want anything that would break the bank. So I came across a pair of sunglasses from Cause and I've been looking at their collection of accessories and their sunglasses are actually in the 99 pound mark. So I'm expecting good quality. I have high expectations and I actually got these in the sale. But before I show you, I just wanted to take a little bit of a moment here for the case. It's nothing over the top, but it's really high quality. The stitching around the case and the minimalist three letter word cause, I absolutely love it. And then it opens like this. And then on the inside, you have this really lovely door to shell glasses that I've been wanting to buy for such a long time. Now this particular style again is very 90s and I have been looking for a pair of 90s style glasses and cause has delivered. I really, really love these. I think they look amazing on and they are completely different from any other sunglasses that I've tried this year. And I did style it in the cutaways a few times for you guys. So I'll try and leave the code of the sunglasses if not available online. So really love them. I think they were a great purchase. They were less than 30 pounds down from 99. So a great bargain. And last but not least, I have my last item of this video, which is a hair clip. I know, something super simple, but for someone who doesn't do a lot with her hair, which I don't, I either put it like this or I have it loose, having little hair accessories like this really elevate my style. And I really love this. It has a different type of look to it. I wore it the other day to work and I really enjoyed it. It held my hair in place. Super nice. And this as well, I think it's going to be something that I'm going to reach for a lot in the upcoming season. Okay, my lovely. So we've reached the end of another video. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please make sure to give this video a good thumbs up because it would really help my channel. If you've not subscribed to my channel and you've enjoyed the content, of today make sure to do so so you can come back next week and hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I upload thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on my next one bye